Hi, thank you for taking the time to join us. My name's Chris Walters, and I'm joined today by Stevie Dugan, Unified Communication Lead at Scottish Courts and Tribunals Service. Stevie, hi, good to see you again. Maybe you'd take some time to introduce yourself, Scottish Courts and Tribunals Service, and your role within the business. Hi, Chris, it's great to be here. As a contractor with an SCATS, as you suggest, my role as Unified Communications Lead, my primary responsibility is around the support and development of the range of collaboration tools and tool sets in use within SCTS. This includes all aspects of video conferencing, telephony, instant messaging and contact centre, with a main focus on accessibility and availability. In terms of SCTS, the organisation, its purpose is quite simply summarised as supporting justice in Scotland. It provides the people, the buildings and the services needed to support the judiciary, the court buildings themselves, the devolved tribunals and the Office of the Public Guardian in Scotland. The estate stretches across 54 locations in Scotland, from Stranraer in the south to the Shetland Isles in the north. Our work focuses on improving access to justice, reducing delay in costs within the justice system and maximising the use of technology to improve those services. So huge geography uh, and reliance on technology to, to keep things uh, running as they should be. You know, when COVID hit, it, it impacted the entire Thousand Eyes customer base in several ways, but I don't think anything was greater than the shift of entire workforces and, and sometimes you know, overnight to a work from home model. You know, within SCTS, what was the remote strategy before 2020? And then how did things change once COVID hit over the last two years? Yeah, prior to 2020, SCTS, like many other large organisations, were very much based on the inside. Although we did have a limited number of people provided with remote capability, the vast majority were entirely office-based and using systems and services located in on-net data centres. In the four years prior to 2020, SCTS had undertaken a number of large-scale infrastructure improvement projects. One of those importantly included a major investment to replace all legacy PBX systems with the Cisco Call Manager, and this enabled us to equip all staff with their own Jabber client. Upon lockdown in March 2020, SCTS began to further invest in extending the remote capability to additional staff. This included an expansion in the VPN capability and also a rapid laptop rollout. In order to restart the business of civil hearings while satisfying COVID restrictions, SCTS quickly established WebEx as the tool that could enable this. And working closely with Cisco, the platform was ready to restart this type of business in less than two weeks. And as SCTS grew this outside-in working model, it was clear that some service improvements were required to optimise that collaboration experience. For example, Jabber voice traffic was split tunnel from the VPN so that it routed directly over the internet from users' home broadband connections and not via the internet circuits at our data centres. This change to working outside in, though, presented another challenge. There was absolutely no visibility of performance or metrics in relation to remote users' local connectivity, for example, Wi-Fi or broadband. And I think when you move to that kind of remote environment and reliance on third-party services, that lack of visibility completely disappears. SCTS quickly realised the unique challenges that remote working and reliance on third parties can cause. How did you discover the value that Thousand Eyes could deliver and, and how was it benefited SCTS? As it became clear that lockdown was likely to be protracted and not just the few weeks that everybody thought initially back in March 2020, it was clear the collaboration cap capability was required to be expanded. This would not only allow growth in the remote hearing capability that was important to the business, but also underpin the massive, massive uptake in remote staff collaboration, such as video conferencing. A significant investment was therefore made in new hardware and new internet circuits in the SCTS data centres, and this hardware and circuitry was dedicated entirely to collaboration tools and traffic. However, despite the comfort this new infrastructure would give us in terms of satisfying performance increases required to support that growth in collaboration tool sets, it was still recognised there was a gap in remote monitoring capability. And the potential for Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent to fill this gap was highlighted by a specialist partner that we were engaged with at the time, Ping Network Solutions. So we embarked upon what was seen as a quick evaluation, and it was quick because it quite quickly showed us that this was the tool we needed to fill that monitoring gap. The endpoint agent enabled SCTS to very, very quickly identify the source of performance issues and provide the evidence to back that up. Prior to having Thousand Eyes, 
suggesting that an issue was likely related to somebody's home Wi-Fi or somebody's local ISP broadband connection was nothing more than anecdotal. We were then able to produce reports and provide those to people at home that they could produce in front of their ISPs to demonstrate exactly where a problem lay. But aside from those individual issues, what was also key to us was issues could be identified that were causing an issue to numbers of people at the same time. So an example of that, very, very recently, we had an issue with a major telco. We, we, we were starting to receive reports that customers of one particular telco were having real WebEx difficulties. Thousand Eyes was able to show us very quickly that one node, a peering node from that telco into the WebEx cloud was having some problems. And Cisco actually contacted us to leverage our Thousand Eyes platform to quickly pinpoint exactly where that problem was. And the telco and Cisco took remedial action together to resolve that issue very, very quickly. And, and that shortening that mean time to identification it is going to rapidly increase the mean time to resolution for such a critical service. Uh, so that's a great example. Thanks for sharing that, Stevie. As the body with the responsibility for the administration of courts and tribunals across Scotland, SCTS has a range of end users to cater for. And I guess they range from clerical staff to high court judges and defendants and lawyers, potentially members of the public. Being able to deliver a high quality remote experience is key to effective hearings and trials and being able to troubleshoot and manage those expectations based on data, I guess, is essential. The pandemic meant that SCTS quickly had to transition to virtual hearings and to remote jury centres. WebEx was key to this, but how did you leverage Thousand Eyes to assure the delivery of such a critical service? Yeah, Chris, to give a bit of background to that, as I mentioned, SCTS inv invested in Cisco WebEx to support the virtual hearings piece because uh, those were starting to back up in terms of business. But with a longer term view of support and accessibility and that going forward, we only have hearings happen in person when absolutely required. And Cisco WebEx was used uh, for, for the virtual hearing side because everybody that was present within that hearing was remote in their own location. So we could have six parties all in six different locations at home and the hearing could continue. When it came to restarting criminal jury trials, that's a very different piece because in Scotland, we've got 15 jurors on a jury panel and finding a space big enough to co-locate 15 people at two metres social distancing was a huge challenge. So SETS had the innovative idea to redeploy vacant cinema screens across Scotland as remote jury centres. Those screens were lying empty because of COVID restrictions. So this enabled us to distance 15 people plus some SETS staff inside a large area. By leveraging these cinema screens, we were able to support trials in up to 50 courtrooms across Scotland concurrently and get business back up to pre-COVID levels. In this environment, with witnesses and defendants remote from the jury, however, digital experience is obviously key. Quality issues with witness statements in particular, and particularly around sensitive or high-profile trials, could result in witnesses having to repeat the process of giving evidence. This could dent public confidence in the court system and the potential associated reputational damage were key drivers in ensuring the experience was as flawless as it could be. So to that end, SCTS leveraged the Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent and key network path locations, including at a remote jury location, to provide visibility into the network performance all the way from the jury centre back into the courtroom. Existing reporting only ever gives us things like capacity and bandwidth utilisation figures, but this extra visibility provided by Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent, we were able to quickly establish if video performance issues were caused by the SCTS network. And this evidence-based approach allowed SCTS to focus on third-party delivery issues, and ultimately the result of that was that a change of video hosting platform had to be enacted. Really like the idea of uh, and the intuitiveness of taking over cinemas which are closed due to COVID to continue such a critical service. Looking to the future, Stevie, how is SCTS planning for a continued hybrid working environment? And are there any transformational projects where you see the partnership with Thousand Eyes developing? Yes, indeed there are, Chris. SCTS are currently formulating strategy relating to working models going forward. However, as IT professionals, we are confident the steps we've taken in the last two years will enable and support any outcome from that strategy. SCTS are already using the Endpoint Agent to monitor SaaS app availability and performance in relation to Cisco WebEx and Microsoft Teams. And a real bonus for us has been the recent introdu introduction of automated session tests into the Thousand Eyes platform that give us a real user-based picture of how those applications are performing. 
And in terms of projects going forward, SDTS are planning for a transformation of their wide area network and they intend to leverage the Thousand Eyes functionality before, during and after any migration to ensure that any network provision is maintained in terms of service levels. And as SCTS and the wider criminal justice community return, continue to return to offices and courtrooms, the need for things like remote jury centres is reducing as juries start to return into the courtroom itself. However, due to objectives around accessibility, things like virtual hearings will remain as a key means of operating. And the measures that were taken to restart the various processes have greatly enhanced business continuity and resiliency capability going forward. So it's not that any of this is a throwaway, it's key to strategy thinking around BC going forward. And interestingly, it's been suggested in the IT industry that the pandemic has accelerated digital transformation by seven years, which doesn't surprise me. I've been an IT professional for over 35 years, and the rate of digital change over the past two years in SCTS has been remarkable. And Thousand Eyes has played an important part in that particular journey. Certainly something that resonates with us, and we've, you know, we've seen that across many organisations. Stevie, I just want to say a huge thank you for taking the time today to, uh, to tell us the story and discuss the partnership between Thousand Eyes and SCTS. It's been an amazing two years, and I'm really, really looking forward to the, uh, the future and the partnership moving forward. Thank you. You're very welcome. Very welcome, Chris. Thanks for having me. As organisations now look to the future of hybrid working with remote working strategies here to stay, it will be essential to include external monitoring and visibility within their strategy. With Thousand Eyes' unique capabilities, IT teams will be able to ensure that the workforce remains productive and able to do the job wherever they are.